top 10 videos that criticize America. I haven't watched the or I haven't looked up the video yet. Um, maybe America. What the fuck? Yeah, top 10 songs that criticize America. Of course, the most obvious one is uh, This is America on the thumbnail. Uh, I believe the slideshow shows um, how's the song called again? Fortunate Son by Cringe Clearwater Revival. And that's a good one. I don't really know any other songs. I believe Born in the USA that was criticizing America. I believe so. There we go. What even is a stone right there? Crosby Stills and Ashley Young. I wanted to say it sounds like a new Young song. Part he is. Uh, American Idiots. That's a good one. New Young, Rocking in the Free World, Rocking in Free America, rather. Osama Bin Laden. Uh, yeah. This is America. This is America. Like, the song is pretty mediocre, but the video is really powerful. I, be I believe much more was just reacting what I said. This is America may be the most recently released song on the list, but that doesn't make it any less powerful. In fact, the video has been viewed over 200 million times on YouTube, which means that his lyrical message is reaching an incredibly large group of people. Get that money. Get that money, well, black man. Or whatever. Culture, violence, and race relations in America with a video as captivating as it is frightening. Yeah, the final scene. It's, it's a good one. It's a good one. Just Gambino was already a popular artist before releasing This Is America, but it's safe to say at this point that the actor, writer, and musician is well on uh, Donald Glover is such a weird guy. Like, I used to love him in community, but. He's like an, a critical darling right now, like what the fuck? It's, it's kind of like that Ariana Grande situation where she started out decent with uh, Victoria but you know, evolved a hell of a lot in, in music. Number nine, what's going on? Marvin yeah, classic song. Beautiful voice. Studio albums prior to unleashing what's going on to the masses. An epic concept album touching on all of the hot button topics of the day. It's a good fucking question. I actually listen a lot to uh, the cover of a Perfect Circles, uh, What's Going On. Quite a tasty song. Change 
Well done. I miss Mr. Tambourine. No. I mean, it's all of his songs kind of sound the same, almost like Mr. Tambourine Man or whatever. As Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech in 1963, a decision was being levied against Baltimore's... It's good though, it's a good song. Zed Singer was only given six months and a $500 fine for the racist assault of a black barmaid named Hattie Carroll, an incident that reportedly contributed to the brain hemorrhage that caused... Something wrong with our city. On a solid ring finger. Did he say it or am I making it up? Something with ring finger. Bob Dylan looks adorable. Oh yeah, she's your. Classic song. <coughs> pretty much, pretty much my uh, favorite CCR song. Fucking hell. It's the most rocking one. It's the most heaviest one, I think. I love this song. Just over two minutes, but this doesn't stop frontman and guitarist John Fogarty from getting all of his thoughts out in the open with raw and impassioned vocals. It's so sad that CCR never like reformed again. Such a good band, man. What even is this? Fucking fall off your bike and die, please. Fight the power, public enemy. Like that's I believe the first time that I got an ad on a Watch Mojo video while I'm in it, you know. I usually get them before or after them. Like it used to. Like a sheriff. Fight the power. All black people. And <laughs> one white person in there. <laughs> that looks so out of place. Like it, it was all black race and then one white person in there. Like yeah, fight the power. I never really. Oh my god! I, I almost said I never never cared for this song. I love this song. Don't get me wrong, but I don't really care for um for for Public Enemy, Fear of Black Planet. Give me fear of a blank plan, honestly. <laughs> I love this song right here. Number four, sleep now in the fire, yeah. rage against the machine. Uh. Okay. Fucking rage, man. Any rage against the machine song for this list. And it would you could have picked any song, honestly. Yeah, but I believe their last album is like the most politi po politically charged out of all of them. For our money though, Sleep Now in the Fire brings it all home with some raw lyrical fire, funky ass drumming, and an ingenious guitar. So yeah. mind of Tom Morello. And then Tom Morello. Lyrically, Sleep Now in the Fire touches upon many controversial acts committed by America during Like, you don't really think about it too much, but Rage is easily the best new metal band. Other than it is creative, but they're still the best. With documentarian Michael Moore behind the camera. Did, did he have a well, okay. and the VOA uh, cap? Number three, rocking in the free world, Neil Young. Yeah, Rage is gonna be the still no one come on now. Easy. Yeah, I knew he was Canadian. What a difficult target. No. Young was no stranger to speaking his mind in song, as evidenced by the track Southern Man, which took on civil rights and slavery in the South. Directly comments about the problems that affect drug users 
users and the poor, doing so with a simple yet heavy riff, which practically begs for the air guitar treatment. I'm just gonna really talk to the <clears throat> Holy Wars? I don't think that Chris has America though. Number two, Mississippi Goddamn, Nina Simone. The name of this tune is Mississippi Goddamn. <laughs> Goddamn! Like, uh, you know, it reminds me of the women that, uh, I don't know, how did it go again, you know, that AIDS woman. Ain't got, ain't got the time for that, you know, that woman. Probably people are, like, throwing shit at me right now, as in, concentrate on the song, goddammit, but, you know, I'm just not really interested in, like, old ass R&B blues Jones. Why do I always say Jones? Tunes, fucking hell, man. Mississippi goddamn. Like the goddamn part just kind of ruins the whole vibe for me. Yes. I get what, she, what she's saying though. Alabama's got me so upset, and Governor Wallace has made me lose my rest. There's a touch of sadness. Like her vocals are so hit or miss. Jesus Christ. Like one person, like spraying. Like all, like like 20 people or something, all wet. I don't know why people do that, honestly. Like, they, they didn't do anything, so why why spray them? Fucking dipshits. Like, if someone would do that to me, I would fucking shove that thing up their fucking ass. Goddamn. <laughs> yeah, that's all really for me. And her bending over. Hmm, goddamn. <laughs> uh, but at the blue sky, you too. I just heard a bit on the rush, really. What is that haircut by Bola? I, I, I love the song, don't get me wrong, but what, what even is that haircut? Blue sky. For what is word about Buffalo Springfield? 20 years uh, ago. And it kind of looks like Bono was leaving with a Beatles haircut. <laughs> Strange Fruit, Billy Holiday. Maybe, well, it isn't, of course, but. Uh, number one. Come on, hurry up a bit. Yeah, we get it, you're sad. Number one. Yeah, I predicted this. Number one, oh my fucking god. Number one, born in the USA, Bruce Springsteen. Dar, dar, <laughs> like, trying to sing like Bruce Springsteen, it fucking murders my vocal cords, if I even have some. But I think we can all agree that Bruce Springsteen doesn't ha have them either. That would have felt right at home during the 1980s. I just don't get uh, Bruce Springsteen. I'm trying to like him, honestly, but it just doesn't work out for me. I believe his singing is not even in sync with the song. Like, what the fuck? I'm, I'm trying to hate less on the song because, you know, I used to do it all the time, but, you know, it's Bruce Springsteen. Even in the modern day, with the track American Skin, 41 Shots. He's just too much of a crooner, I think, for me to like. <clears throat> but this 1984 mega hit was an example of Bruce's sound firing on both critical and commercial cylinders. Like that bandana too, like Jesus Christ. He's <laughs> just screaming along on this track, like, fuck all, man. I just don't get Bruce Springsteen, honestly, but if you like him, okay, you know, okay. I, I get it, I get it. Um, fucking hell. I don't really have anything to say about it. I didn't even know why, why I would react to this song, but, or this video. I'm just, you know, I don't really get like people, yeah, you know, they criticize America because it's of course not a perfect country, but I'm just too, you know, I'm not informed enough to, or not informed, informed at all to really talk about this subject matter. So I don't even know why I accepted this video. 
But still, thank you for watching this video. Um, the next video is going to be a bit more interesting for me at least, so stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.